Um, regarding games, especially indoor ones, charades is forever one of my favorites. This is Shating Aparad, which is a secret word for a volunteer from the opposite team. Then this player has to act out the word to communicate its meaning to the other members of the team. And of course, whoever guesses the most words wins the game. My friends and I used to play charades a lot. The game was our first choice when we had to stay indoors if it was raining. Also, I'm sure our birthday parties wouldn't have been so exciting if it hadn't been for it. Needless to say, this was our favorite way to pass time during the breaks between lessons and after school. We used to gather at someone's place and play for hours. I remember that at first, we didn't have to be really inventive to make challenging tasks for each other. In fact, any word would do the job. We laughed a lot as it was real fun seeing a person doing mental, uh, going mental to explain the word. The more we played, the more sophisticated our charades became. We started choosing abstract notions which were difficult to explain. For instance, something like eternity or justice was like a death sentence for those who had to act out the words. But it was a whole different story for the rest of us. We were splitting our sides laughing while those poor things were struggling to show the word. Also, we deliberately tried to think up the word which would make a person look weird and perform strange gestures. It goes without saying that the main reason why I played charades was to have fun and communicate with my friends. But I have to confess that I also liked showing everyone how clever I was. I guessed the words more often than anyone else as I read a lot. So everyone wanted to have me as a team member, which undoubtedly